Hey everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you. Um, I created this uh, monogram note card for a project that I did with the third Thursday's blog hop last week and then I had someone say, hey could you actually show us how you made that? So I'm making a short and simple uh, show and tell that I'm sharing with you today and I will share the post link um, below in the comments so you can go and, and see all of uh, my details plus you can go ahead and hop along and see the other fun projects that we shared last week. Okay, so basically the idea was to create a quick and easy paper crafting um, holiday project be it a gift or be it gift wrapped. So I did a gift. Um, I thought about monogram note cards. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Stamparatus and I'm going to be using the stamp set Make a Difference which is all these fun letters. It's got capitals and lowercase in the cursive script and then it's also got typeset. Okay, so we're going to use the cursive script and for my monogram I have W, the capital W for my last name, Webster, and I have S and M in the lowercase for my first and middle initial. Okay, so you could just make them on standard um, white or vanilla note cards, right, that we sell in a bundle of 20. You could do that. Or I decided I wanted to make mine on designer series paper. So when you open it, you've got the inside pattern as well. And then I'm just going to line the inside. But if you wanted to make your paper go a little farther, you could just take a front piece, which is 3.5 by 5.5, no, sorry, three and a half by five. You could just take a front piece and face it and poo your monogram on that. But I decided I was going to make a bunch of these and use them as my holiday thank you notes. So I'm just going to show you how I did this real quick. So like I said, I'm using the Stamparatus because in order to get these letters close enough to look like a monogram, you can't put them on one block because the stamps, you know, they have, they have a little bit of a border around them and you want them close together like you were signing it. So what I did was I mounted my capital on one of my Stamparatus arms, okay, and then I stamped that down on my grid paper, you can see that. And then I took my two little, little letters, S and M, and I placed them first on my grid paper, and then I put my arm down to put them on top so that I could make a bunch of these, right, just by having my template set up with my two stamps. So if I take my, this is the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper, and the nice thing about our paper, all of our paper, generally has one uh, very lively print, right? I'd say this is the more lively print, and then one kind of muted print. So I'm using the uh, muted print for my outside. Not that you have to, but that's what I'm doing. That's where I'm going to put my monogram, so I'm just going to crease that with my bone folder. And now, so, I'm going to put this in here. That's not quite creased square. Let's fix that for a second. That's better. More square. Okay. So I'm going to put this in here. So how did I know where to put it, right? So I bring my arm down and I say, well, where do I want my monogram on my note card? And I decided I wanted it in this lower corner. So I put that in there, and then I've marked my grid paper that this is the corner where I want to put that corner of my note card. Then I'm just going to go ahead and use my super sturdy magnets just to hold it in place. Now I'm just going to stamp with Memento, but you could stamp with any color you wanted really. So we're just doing monogram stamping. If you wanted to stamp and then stamp something else and color it, you're going to want to use the proper ink. So here's my W. And the nice thing with the Stamparatus is not only can I do multiples, but if I don't get enough ink on it to start, I can always just do it again. And now I'm going to ink up my first and middle initial. I'll bring that over. And see how it just lines right up. Just like that. And there, I have another one just like that. Okay? So easy peasy, easy monogramming gift. So with my Stamparatus, like I just showed you, I was able to make a whole bunch of these. Now, you're going to see I've done a couple of different ones. So this is the one I just did, and I'm going to go ahead and I would line that with just a piece of Whisper Away from my note. Okay? And that's what I've actually done on this other sample. Okay? So they're same paper, but each piece is going to be cut a little bit different. So here's this one, and then here's my inside. 
Right? Great. Easy peasy. So there's that one. This one I did just take a front section and put it on a Whisper White uh, base. Okay, so then I've got more writing space or I could create more cards. Or if you really, really like the other pattern, right? This is the pattern from the inside. This one I put on a piece of um, just some scrap paper. I stamped the monogram and then I used a punch or you could use a die cut and I just punched it out and then I just put that on front. So I can use the more busy pattern, but I didn't want the letters to get lost. So I popped them up and then again, I've got this pretty blue pattern on the inside and I just lined it. So pretty simple, simple, quick, easy. You could make a monogram set as a gift or for yourself to use as thank you notes as I did here. I put that in a cute um, larger envelope and you're ready to go. Now I also did the just the capital on my envelope here. So again I would use the Samparatus, just position my envelope in there and I could just, just like a printing press, do one and then switch it and ink it and do another one and switch it and ink it. So really quick and simple. So I hope that um, helped you understand how I did a whole bunch of them. Quick and easy paper crafting gift. Alright everybody, hope you're having a wonderful holiday. Do some fun stamping and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.